They look quite odd. Some people said, you know, they're being substitute for popcorn. Simply, I'd love to have more. In a lot of parts of the world, it's not considered yes. food. Yeah, this is delicious. <laughs> this isn't your ordinary food tasting event. These adventurous Hong Kong diners are feasting on a tomato salsa topped with roasted mealworms. Their culinary guide for the afternoon, Katrina Unger. You know, when I when I meet somebody on a on the plane, for example, and then. Uh, this person asked me, so what do you do? And I say, well, I, I grow insects for food. And they're like, what? Katrina is an industrial designer who wants to start a food revolution with this, the world's first desktop worm farm. It grows up to a half a kilogram of worms a week in a controlled microclimate, then harvests them with the push of a button. The beetles lay eggs in there and they grow into worms. Uh, and, and then we came up with a separation system which separates the worms from food remains and so you can harvest really the fresh worms in order to eat as a meat alternative. Mealworms have the protein content of beef but without the environmental footprint. And here in Asia, people have been eating bugs for centuries. Across Europe and the US, insect farmers have been scaling up to meet rising global demand. But Katrina is targeting individuals who want to know where their bugs came from. As soon as I understood the process of growing them, I really started to see it as a food source and not as something strange and new. The hive cost around 650 US dollars. Katrina says the company already has a thousand customers in the US, Europe, and China. But many people still can't overcome the ick factor. So insects might still have a long way to crawl before they end up on plates in most kitchens. 